Gemma from Create on Your Campus. Welcome to the Create on Your Campus channel. We're really glad you're here today. We've got a fun project making pom-poms with yarn you happen to have around from the classroom, maybe from a specific project that will be so fun to turn into one of these. I'll show you how. We're gonna take a, a skein of yarn and we're gonna take one piece off, actually I've already cut that. You wanna cut a piece off that's probably about a foot long, just to set aside. That's gonna be the little tail piece of your pom-pom so that it can be tied onto something. This would be great in a classroom, a fun project that kids can do. Each child can make their own pom-pom and they'll have a lot of fun trimming it up into the round shape. That's the best part, kids love to cut hair, right? So we're gonna take our yarn, now that we've got that piece cut off, and we'll take our hand and this is something also kids can do. We'll just lay it over our hand like that. So I've got just a short piece, doesn't need to be any longer than your hand. And obviously kids' pom-poms are gonna be smaller. And then we're just gonna wrap around. Now to get the thickness of the pom-pom I just showed you, I was looking for it. This one, I wrapped it around my hand about 35 times. So if you wrap it more than that, you'll get a really plush, dense, pom-pom. If you wrap it less than that, I have one that I wrapped a little less, and that one is, that was probably about 25 times. So we're going to go around a bunch of times, and you got to get some of your yarn ready. So I'm just kind of counting in my head, and you don't want to pull it really tight around your hand. You just want to keep it kind of soft as you go, and you're getting your yarn undone as you go. I've got about 13 times around, and I'm just trying to get some extra yarn undone here. Keep it from sliding off my finger. So that's about 25 times. And you can keep your finger, I've got my fingers kind of spread apart a little bit. That just helps it to stay even. Um, rather than being squished really tight and having it be thicker on one end and thinner on the other. So you just want to space it out evenly. Okay, so I think that I went around about 35 times here. I'm going to trim it Oop. so that it's the same and then carefully remove it from my finger so it's kind of like a donut. But we want to make our donut flat. So now and to make sure that all my strings, so you can see all the way through it. Um, to make it easy, you could put your string all the way through, and maybe because I'm doing this standing up, I'll do that. And I can tie it around one time, very as tight as I can. Then I'm going to get back to my center again, make sure I have that, and hollow it again. And then I'm going to flatten it. I think I got some pieces. I'm going to sidewise it here. Okay. Then you're going to get your pieces flattened out. So it looks like this. So it's flat. So this was the piece we tied. Then I'm just tying around the back. Now, if you don't want to hold it in the air to tie it, then you can take it off your hand as the donut and lay it flat and put that foot long string underneath the whole donut and then cinch it together in the middle like this and tie it off. And you wanna try and get it as tight as you can. You're gonna leave these too long because you can tie them off to something. And this was one of the pieces that I had cut off. Now we're gonna cut through, bit by bit, through all these loops. And that's how it's gonna become fuzzy. So I'm going to get in the middle and you'll see as you go along, you'll cut some and then you'll see others that are maybe more inside that needed to be cut. This is the fun part to get it all trimmed up. So I'm not going to do any fast motion for you. This is real time that we're getting this cut open and I'm just going through and finding any of the loops that I didn't get originally. And that's what it looks like to start off with. Then we'll go around to this side, get this cut, 
And again, looking for those internal loops so you get all your pieces cut straight. It works great if you have sharper scissors, but I find even a lot of kids' scissors in classrooms would be nice and sharp uh, for this kind of project. So then you can shake it out, and you are gonna have some longer pieces. Shake it out, and then you can see where you need to give your haircut. And you just start trimming. So I'm finding that the sharpest part of my scissors, I'm going a little shorter. And you're just trimming around. You're trying to get a, a circular shape and trim, trim, trim. So it does take a few minutes to get that part of it done. So you do, the nice thing about making these pom-poms is you don't need a fancy pom-pom maker. You can use your hand. But, you know, you can also use the fancy pom-pom maker if you have one. They're fun, too. But I love the idea, as we do a lot at Create on Your Campus, you work with what you have. And that is Fun and simple, so you don't need a lot of resources to put this together. So this is, I'm going to stop trimming here, minus this one extra, but you can see that I've gotten it trimmed up quite a bit. I'll go back to the one that I showed you initially that I got trimmed up. And something fun you can add to these is I have a little bit of glue here. I'm going to put a little glue on my finger, and I'm just going to put a dab of glue. And I'm going to put a couple of googly eyes on this. This glue is gooey because they can turn into like chair buddies in the classroom. They can get tied onto chairs and have the kids' names on a tag maybe with the chair if you want to do something like that. So they can be so fun. These little pom-pom guys, that glue will dry clear. But you can see, oh, we got two eyes on there. You can add a little bit of pipe cleaner or a different color yarn to make a little mouth if you want to add that. So fun. Hope you like this idea and make your own pom-poms. We'll see you next time with another. We have one more fabric project to do in the month of March, and then we're moving on to our next genre. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.